Hello, my dear students of class 4. I am Vidya Rani, your English teacher. Children, today I have come up with a video of chapter 1 from Gulmohar book that is Be Prepared, written by Ruskin Bond. Now before we start with the story children, let us know who was Ruskin Bond. Ruskin Bond was one of the India's best loved storyteller. He had spent most of his life in Dehradun and loved writing about childhood, about hills and about animals he knew. His popular stories are The Room on the Roof, Our Tree Still Grows in Dehra. These were his popular stories. Now children, let us start with Chapter 1 Be Prepared by Ruskin Bond. Children, put your fingers where am I reading? Be Prepared that is the boy scout motto but I never seem to be well prepared for anything be it an exam or a journey. Now, Bond, the writer, says that be prepared was the Boy Scots motto. But he never used to prepare himself. Whatever he used to do in his life, he never used to prepare himself. Whether it is whether it was exam or whether it was a journey. Like children, you all prepare for exams, isn't it? But this boy never used to prepare for that. Like for journey, if we go out somewhere, we prepare certain things for journey. But this boy never used to prepare for that also. He never used to prepare anything in his life before doing work. Put your fingers to the next paragraph, children. It seems a rumor had gone around the junior school that I was a good cook. Now Bond is telling that a rumor was there. A wrong thing had spread in the whole school that he was a very good cook. In the whole school, everyone knew Bond as a very good cook cook. I had never cooked anything in my life but I had spent a lot of time in the tuck shop making suggestions to and encouraging Chimpu, the tuck shop owner, to make more and better samosas, jalebis, tikis and pakoras. Now Bond is telling about himself that in his life he hadn't cooked but this wrong thing had spread in the whole school that he was a great cook. He used to spend a lot of time in the tuck shop. In school he there was a shop Rather, you can say a canteen. Okay? Tuck shop means a small shop where you can find cookies, jalebis, samosas. Okay? So, there was a tuck shop and he used to spend most of his time in that shop giving suggestions to the owner of that shop. The name of that owner was what children? Chimpu. He used to suggest Chimpu how to sell jalebis, 
samosas and pakoras and how to make them better okay with this qualification now as he was suggesting this chimpu with this qualification he won a cookery batch like you all get a batch children isn't it he also at the same time with this giving suggestions people came to know the children the school members came to know that he might be good in cooking that is why he got a cookery batch and was put in charge of our boy scout troops supply of rations and he was made the in charge of boy scout ration supplier okay now he was made the in charge to supply rations to that boy scout team there were about 20 of us in our troop now bond is telling how many children were there in that troop there were 20 children in that troop during the summer break our scout master mr oliver took us on a camping expedition to a mountain now the scout master was who children what was the name of the scout master mr oliver so mr oliver took these 20 children for a campaign during when children during summer break an expedition to the mountain a few miles outside shimla which was few miles outside shimla okay children the first night we were put to work peeling potatoes skinning onion shelling peas and pounding masalas the first night when they reached there okay outside shimla first night they were given the work these children these 20 children were given the work for peeling potatoes skinning taking out the skin of onions okay and shelling peas and pounding means what children grinding masalas okay when these ingredients were ready i was asked what should be done with them now when these children prepared these ingredients these different things when they prepared they asked who that bond bond the child okay the writer in fact you can say was asked what to do with these things as he had won a cookery batch everyone came to know that he was a good cook so everything was prepared now the children asked them what to do with this thing put everything in the big dake chi order pour half a tin of ghee over the lot add some nettle leaves and cook for half an hour now who gave this order bond bond gave this order to put all the things in a big dekchi what is dekchi children dekchi is a big vessel in which things are cooked often you will see it in the kitchen you can ask your mother even that what is a dekchi she will explain you nicely showing it in the kitchen everyone is having it in the kitchen okay so now bond what did he order to pour half tin of ghee in that in those ingredients those ingredients were put in the dekchi half tin of ghee was put over it and nettle leaves were put into it and was cooked for half an 
are. When this was done, everyone had a taste and agreed that the dish lacked something. More salt, I suggested. Now, when the dish was prepared, everyone tasted that dish, children, and they found that something was missing in that dish. What was it? Then Bond said that salt was missing and he told them to put some more salt. But the st dish still lacked something. But the dish still was lacking something. When they had put the salt in it, still that dish was lacking something. The taste was not coming good. Add a cup of sugar. I ordered and a bottle of tomato sauce. Now Bond ordered to put a cup of sugar in it and a bottle of tomato sauce in it. The dish was a great success. Now the dish was a great success. Even Mr. Oliver who had no idea what had gone into it, enjoyed it. Okay? Now, even Mr. Oliver, the scout in charge, the master, okay, he also enjoyed that dish. He did not know what was added to all those things, but he enjoyed a lot. What's this called? He asked, he asked that what is the name of the dish, children? The bond bujia, said one of the boys. Now amongst those 20 boys, one of the boy answered, the name of the dish is sir, the bond bujia. I had earned my cookery batch. Now, Bond really seemed that finally when his dish became successful, he had really earned the batch that very day because now he felt that he was good in cooking. The next day, Mr. Oliver told us he would Teach us tracking. Now next day, early, next day means what children? Early in the morning, Mr. Oliver told that he would teach them tracking. Means tracking means what children? Following the movement. Taking a half hour head start, he walked into the forest leaving a trail of broken twigs, pine cones and chestnuts behind him. Now, half an hour before the children could start, Mr. Oliver started leaving on the way, what children? Broken twigs, pine cones and chestnuts behind him so that the children would follow seeing that thing follow the path and reach up till him. We were to follow the trail until we found him and they were asked to follow the trail until they could find Mr. Oliver. Unfortunately, we were not very good trackers. They were children. They were not very good trackers. We did follow Mr. Oliver's trail some way, some till some way they had followed Mr. Oliver's track into the forest but then we were distracted by a pool of clear water and they got in the mid of the way they got a clear pool of, pool of clear water and they got distracted there. They started playing. Now up till here I have explained you this chapter children.
I will prepare the second part of this chapter. Till then, please read this chapter so that your reading skill improves. Okay, children. Till then, bye. Take care.